Alright, what's up everyone? So this is my boy Lee. So we're gonna be training back and biceps today. Um, obviously Lee, Lee's competed before, so he's got a lot of knowledge to give to you guys. It's gonna be a good session, good vibes, bodybuilding style, not a pile of stuff that I normally do. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Like and comment down below and also subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. We're gonna be a lot more consistent now. We're trying to get out some good quality content. So yeah, show some love. A great way to warm off the back, um, chest, just general shoulders as well. Get a band, pull them apart, come forward like this, come back. Is that, is that, is that a pump cover, Lee? I mean, you got, nah, got, 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 got a vest, I got a vest. Good, good, good. Good. You, I'm going to say, you got, you got a vest imagine. for the video, bro. Come Oversized on. the whole session. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my pump cover on as yeah. well. Get, get a pump first, and then we'll do the reveal. Um, but yeah, Jack, if you come over here, I'll show you something I normally do. Um, when I'm training shoulders, when I'm training back, I just like to hang on the bar. Helps to decompress the spine. Very good for your rotator cuff muscles as well. So I literally just hang like this. And I try to relax. And just let everything just, just hang. I normally do a couple of reps as well. It just opens the shoulders up. It's really good for your spine as well. And we can go heavy as well, because you can stack loads of weight. Yeah, you got your belt, yeah? Uh, I don't use a belt. You don't use a belt? Nah. Uh, he doesn't <laughs> use a belt, he doesn't use, use a belt. belt. Why is that, belt. why is that? Because I like trying to keep my, I like, I like trying to control my core, like just myself, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, nah, that's so good. When, when I'm bending, I know, sometimes it just like, distracts me a little bit. Okay. Especially in certain, certain, certain movements, so. Good, good. That's the thing though, like a lot of people feel like you need to use a belt all the time. As a power lifter, I'd probably say use a belt. But if you're a bodybuilder and you're trying to get good core strength and definition, um, it's, you can just work on actually just not using a belt. For a lot of movements as well, I feel like it allows you to be a bit more flexible. Flexible, yeah. yeah sometimes sure. the belt can be quite restrictive. Yeah, but yeah, everyone does it differently. I personally, if I'm doing everything for Delhi, there's no way I'm not using a belt. Nah, no, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how we get on. So we're starting with smaller weights, just because if you use a 20 plate, it's like you won't get as much movement in the, in the range of motion. So yeah. we start with 15, small range. Add a little bit more. Swarming up. <laughs> So you, have you started your next cycle? Not yet, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I'm waiting it out, I'll let my body, waiting for my blood test to come back. Yeah. And then we'll see how, what we're looking like yeah. on the panel and I'll work out if I'm ready to okay. start or not. How, what sort of stuff would you be looking at for you not to start? So you look, so obviously your testosterone's your main one. Okay. You've got to make, when you're in cruising range, you want to make sure your levels are back to normal, in, in between yeah. the normal range. Uh, cholesterol, mm -hmm. so like obviously your, your healthy fats, yeah. your liver as well, enzymes. Yeah. That's an important one. You want to make sure your liver helps in good condition. Mm -hmm. um, and probably, yeah, they're the main ones I'd say. What percentage of people do you reckon at the moment that are juicing don't take the blood that seriously and just fucking. Oh, I, I would spamming. say, yeah, well, probably at least 50%, half. 50%. Yeah, half don't it's half. Quite, do. It's quite worrying. So, yeah, it? it's really worrying. You know, a lot of people like they, they, they think they look good on the outside mm -hmm. where they could be. Bad in the inside. So. You might look yeah. for Ferrari inside. <laughs> I mean, outside, but then. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And inside, you're looking dead, so. You're looking absolutely dead, yeah. Check your blood, so, guys. Yeah, especially your blood. especially you if you're healthy. taking steroids or yeah. performance enhancing drugs. Make sure you're doing it right, especially if you're young as well. We've had too many lost lives recently, so those things are very important. <laughs> man, let's just take a picture of this shit. <laughs> you still are cracking me up. <laughs> Good. Bit. 
So keep it like that. Now it's coming out. <laughs> now it's coming out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Good, good, good. Good. Nice. That's it. Good. Oh, you're taking it off. I probably don't need to stand back here anymore with her. Get the back. Let's push. Let's go. Work. 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 That's good. Sit good, back down. Good. 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 Right, so we just finished our T-bar rows. Pretty shattered already for the first set. <laughs> but we're gonna go move on to lap pull, pull down. We're gonna play around different grips, see what we feel we're the most comfortable doing, but that's what we're gonna do next. How many sets? Three, four sets? Yeah, we'll do it. I'll just probably do another working set of like two top sets again, yeah. any sets, and we'll go and do a block off set. set, yeah. Cool, let's go, let's get it. Good. <laughs> Early, let's get it. Push. Push. Let's go. This depends. Let's go. Full stretch, let's go. Yeah, look like really set. interesting how you do it. Have your elbows like played out a little bit? Huh? I'm trying to see how I do it. Where do, what's the elbow positioning when you do these? Um, yeah, I mean, it's because when I do it, I don't like having it just straight down. Yeah. Because you're straight down, you're not going to work any you're part of that. Yeah, so okay. you tilt it a little bit more. And, I, and then yeah. I get, so I work that part, but I always work the rear delt part on the top of this bar. So you're not coming, your elbows are like out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 there you go, yeah. But I hold it wider than you as well, yeah. Hold it a bit wider. Yeah, that's better. You feel my rhombo is working a bit more here? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. <sighs> yeah, that's it. Let's go. <sighs> so I got it. Let's go. Push. Next, we just finished lap pull downs with bodybuilding. I think a very important thing to remember, I think you could probably um, attest to this, is just doing different angles, doing different yeah. things. You don't want to walk in the same muscle group at the same angle every single time. So, we just did an over, overhead kind of pulling down movement. Now, we're doing this in this plane, so the different plane of movement. We're going like to mid range in. back, really. exactly. So, we've done that way, we've done like lower towards, we've done upper really because you do work a bit really, that's yeah. more to the lower lat as well. Yeah, uh, that one we've done the upper mid range. Mm -hmm. This one we're going to use a wider grip because yeah. the T bar we use close, so mm -hmm. we use a wider now, work on the, the width of our back. There we go, couldn't have said it better myself. So, let's go. You don't watch, you don't watch rugby anymore, do you? Yeah. <laughs> it's like 17, 18. Yeah. You know, you're getting into bodybuilding territory when you've got <laughs> fucking handles on handles, fucking hook, hook. <laughs> Looking them across, what is this about? <laughs> Thing with rows as well, a lot of people fucking do this. Yeah, they too lean back. Just I'll try and keep myself a little bit square, like here. Yeah. And no movement of the hips. It's <laughs> good. I did do bodybuilding for a long time. Come on, I've got it. I'm still got you've it. Still I've got, got it. Got it. Man, come on. <laughs> I'm 
Yeah, if I feel like I'm not getting the right connection, then I'll adjust myself a little bit. Um, and I allow myself to just squeeze that little bit extra before I come back. You're just squeezing, isn't it? It's learning to contract the muscle. The longer yeah. you can hold it in that squeezing position, the better mind muscle connection you're going to get over time. That's all it is. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Try to keep yourself up a little bit more upright as well. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Feel that squeeze in the middle. A bit more. Come a little bit. Yeah, come a little bit over, because then you'll feel that. Yeah, right at the higher here. Yeah, Just from this angle where it's like here, you keep yourself with this a little bit more. You don't have to do too far like that, but only like a little bit, and you'll start feeling that at the top range here. Makes sense. Let's go, Lee. Yeah, man, doing the collabs, man. Trying to, trying to be a bit more consistent. <laughs> trying, bro, trying. Let's go, Lee. Let's go. <sighs> Good that's shit, good right shit. Here. So like here. Yes, that's it, yeah. Good, good, good. So now you're getting that whole range here. It's nice. Good. Uh, good, good, good. A couple more. Good, good. See, this is why you need a training partner, because <laughs> I wouldn't have done that fix on my own. Well, you can obviously tell. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're like upright. And you, you like going from the field. more on doing that than you did when he was doing it a little bit more like yeah, that. Yeah, 100%. Like, so you obviously felt you must have felt it much. more, yeah? Yeah. All right, last set. I'm going to do a back off set on this one. Okay. I'll just go drop it down to one just so I feel it a bit, get more reps out of it. Have we done a walking shot? That's not just that Okay. Let's go. Let's go, Lee. Push. Hold on, put it down, see? Let's push. Let's go. Let's go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Push. Push. One more. That's it. That's it. He's done. He's done. done. Good shit, man. Go on. All right, what's, what's next? Um, single arm. What did you have? Single arm pull downs? How's that? Yeah, it's good. Alright, what, what I do, tend to hold yourself on like, you use that arm and hold like, kind of just make sure your stability is good when you're doing it. And till your arm towards, yeah, that's it. Good. Ah, that feels good. It allows you to get full range. Yeah. I just try not to let my elbow, it's what to do with your elbow placement as well when you're doing it. So when you keep, if you keep yourself in that like right line and try not to come out of it too much. Or like completely straight down. Yeah. Not, and you don't come out, so you don't have to come all the way through either. Just come to a, a like, when you, about there, yeah. Okay. How does it feel for you? It doesn't feel too bad, it feels good. But it's because you got. I feel once you get I used. Can, to, I can feel it. Yeah, once you get to the, the used to the movement, I think. I think it'll look, it's a lot better. Oh yeah, no man. Good, good. Yeah, huh? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, man. Making videos, man. Let's go, Lee. Come out a little bit with your chest. Good. I keep this position here. How, how I'm in now, I keep it like okay. this. And just drive down. Okay. Good. Okay. So 
it's just that short range, you're not going too far back. No. Just concentrate on that. that short range, and all that bit is concentrating on your lower lat. Okay. So for men's physique, you want your, you want that nice. Look at the camera. You want that nice X frame. Yeah. Um, so when you're working on your lower lats, your lats just come out like that. You have yeah. that kind of Dorito shape of your back. <laughs> Dorito shape. This lower, lower lat here to come straight out. So you're literally like. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Come a little bit more for, yeah. A bit that more than I got it. hard to get. I got it, I think. That's it. Remember the short range of movement, don't come too far out. Because right. once you come, once you stretch, obviously some exercise you need to stretch, right? Yes. Others, if you come too far, you'll lose that contraction in the lower lat. Okay. So just come up a little bit. Right here. Stretch it to like the. That's it, yeah. Good, 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 good. Much better, much better. Yes. Good. Slow it down a little bit when you come to this bit as well. That's better, good. <sighs> Nice one, bro. Let's go. Gonna give you that beat tape, right? Yeah, you get that nice beat tape. Yeah. So you start off with your. With me, my my focus this year is to work on my back thickness and width. So this sort of movement will give me that width from the lower mm. back. Bring your lats outwards. Yeah. Um, I never, I never, I never ever got very good at this pose here. Mm. I think that's. And that's gonna be one of the yeah, yeah. muscle connection in it. This sort of this sort of workout will definitely bring that when you get that that yeah. beat out. So you have your back like. Mm. Yeah. There we go. Good. Good shit, man. Looking like a ninja toe. Left yeah. leg, you feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel Did you it on your right? Sometimes. Yeah, well, this one here, so I used to use this right here. Yeah. And I used to find that my, I think it was my left one, I didn't feel it as much at all. So I thought, you know what, instead of using a machine where it's fixed, I'll switch to a bench and cable, so it's a bit more of like. I can, I can feel it, I can still feel it, I just feel it a lot more on my left. Yeah. I think it's just getting that angle right. I think the angle, you just need to be perfect with the angle, I think. And, and sometimes you're, you're obviously your back, depending on how your back development is as well, you might, one side might be more developed than the other, so you might feel it a lot more. Right. <laughs> I don't think I've ever felt that muscle contract before. <laughs> These are the, the little things that with like bodybuilding you have to focus on. It's all them little tweaks in your physique will make you stand out from like the rest. Yeah. I like you might complete you might do a very simple exercise but change one little thing, one little angle, and it changes completely the way you hit the muscle. Like yeah. just a little like the first five reps I wasn't really feeling it in a specific area, but then just twisting a little bit in or doing a little bit driving shorter range of motion, driving down, you feel it a lot better. It's just like little things that you change. We got right there next. We're gonna do like maybe three or four sets. Last set, do a drop set. I already warmed up, so this is my first working set. Let's go. I tend to lean over slightly more. I try to like keep myself, I don't keep myself too straight. I can lean slightly yeah. over, just so I could get my, when I'm leaning back, I feel my rear delt work a little bit more. You're quite, you're, yeah, yeah. See I'm, how, quite, I'm quite far back. Yeah, you're quite far back, so when you stretch, you kind of get, you get your middle part of your back mm. working as well. But yeah. for me, I just like to focus just mainly on rear delt, so yeah. I try and. Fair enough, I think. Because I try, because I'm, in my head, I always go heavy, go, like yeah, heavy. Yeah. So that's why I do it. I do but it. when I go lighter, I can concentrate more on the form like on you're speaking form, about. Yeah, so definitely. I'll give it a go for my next set. There's little, little tweaks like this that make a, good, a difference when you're doing bodybuilding. All right. Oh. 
Nice. Yeah. Ah. All right, so we're going to be doing dumbbell curls. For this, I like to go back, but this is a little bit too much. So back like this, relax completely, and literally use zero momentum, just biceps coming up. Try and twist it a little bit at the end as well. That's how you get the maximum contraction. You can, you, you're going to shorten the bicep the most when you kind of go like this. So you want to put in a lot of the weight. Remember I was speaking about the weight distribution? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Try and get all the weight on your pinky, because that's how you're going to get the most activation of the bicep in this particular exercise. So come here like this. It's good. Doing it this way, it's just pure bicep. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. What am I gonna do next? What is this one for? You recognize the gym, Tom? Mm. Good, good, good. Mm. Uh. Um. Uh. Uh. Three more. Uh. 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 Again. Uh. Woo. I feel like sometimes when you, when you get from your biceps, Instead of getting bigger, it just gets more dense. It gets more dense, yeah, it doesn't it like, um, yeah, I know yeah. you mean, it's weird. <laughs> you know what? I like how you know exactly what I mean. I know what you mean. It's like, come on, like, you must come out, but it's like, it's just stuck. <laughs> it just gets stuck in one position. <laughs> Alright, so Elise, what would you say is the main difference between physique and, like, open? The other divisions, well, yeah. so obviously the size. Try, try and look at the camera yeah, when you're yeah, I keep always talking talk to you. <laughs> so the size. Obviously, it's a massive difference. Yeah. Um, men's physique are a lot smaller. It's all about yeah. proportion, symmetry. You still get that with the open guys, yeah. but it's mainly to do with your balance in men's physique. Yeah. So they want you to look aesthetic and pleasing to the eye. Whereas I open is no all about. Yeah. Huh? I know it's no legs. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the trunks, so haven't you? It's, not as, that, it's not as important. It's not as important the legs, but at the minute they actually yeah. are, are now about to judge their legs. They say yeah. um, because they want your whole body to look in proportion. So yeah. they don't want to see skinny legs and open, yeah. massive like huge uh, like upper body so they still they still say they're, they're not judging but they yeah. kind of are judging at the same time and what made you choose physique into the classic then because so, I, I could definitely see you going into classic as well people say that about me and that i got a uh, someone said that to me about yesterday but um my my feedback from the judges for my last couple of shows were my proportion my symmetry is suited to men's, men's physique yeah uh, my shape i'm not i'm not a big guy i'll I say i'm quite i'm gonna say i'm a bit smaller yeah. but i'm more i can get quite lean more and more, more aesthetics yeah. though Make and sense. my legs as well, you need to, my legs we need to come up a lot more. Yeah. Uh, if I competed, what, what do you reckon? What, what division? For me personally, I'd say classic, just because you do train your legs very, yeah. very well. Yeah. Um, and your, your overall structure and shape, shape. It's about your structure as well. Your structure yeah. has to suit that category. Mm. And I feel like your waist and section, you can do your yeah. vacuum. That suits classic a lot yeah. more. Something I was going to, I, I was training it earlier on in the month, so like a couple of months back, I was trying to train the vacuum. I want to get back into it because it actually feels so good it, where yeah. you can like suck everything in. I'm not great at that beat. Oh, yeah, I can't really do it. Edith is very so. good at Edith, it. Edith, yeah, yeah, very yeah. good. But I'll train it and see what we get on. But I definitely do want to jump on stage just for the experience of it. And I keep longing it out, but. I feel like just to, just, just, just to get that once in a lifetime, like you, you're in your gym, you do your bodybuilding, you're into powerlifting, any, any, I feel like we should always get it. And it opens go. up so much more opportunities, I feel like, when you do bodybuilding oh, as well. Definitely. Especially with the content and stuff. Yeah. <sighs> That's good. And do you do much cardio? Uh, so my off season, I don't do as much as I should because of my <sighs> job role, so. Okay. So I don't want to, I don't want to overdo it with the cardio. Obviously, cardio is very important for your health. Um, on the yeah. other side, on the other side, you don't want to be burning them extra calories for no reason. So, okay. steps are very important. I get over ten thousand steps a day, and that keeps my cardio, cardio in check. So. And is that like just walking outside or like? Literally, like, my day-to-day -day job and my day-to-day role. What do you do again? Uh, so I do welding, welding that's my okay. actual job role okay. um, and but I'm always running around like the warehouse and stuff like yeah. that so my uh, steps are pretty, the I'm, yeah. I'm always getting my steps in, I come to the gym in the evening, train, yeah. steps in. So what's, what's your goal, 10,000? Yeah, I'd definitely yeah. do more, I'd probably do around just over 10,000 a day okay. so 
Fish it, man. All right, last set for you. And, and then I'll, I'll say we do, I'll get it easy, but we do like sevens. Yeah, yeah we do sevens, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't done that in a long time, but it's good. It's, it's good. a good one, yeah. It's good for when we're training together, so we can just pass it to you. Yeah. We can go back and forth. I'll go grab 25s. Yeah. 25s. Actually, we can move it, we can go all the way down there. I'll get it up, man. There's stuff yeah. in. Easy bar goes next. So we're going to do some sevens. Oh, cool. Cool. Wow. So seven mid, no, seven full, seven high, and then seven low. Um, and you do seven like this. Yeah, seven like this. Then seven like that. Then, then you seven do seven, seven full. full. Yeah, okay, cool. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> you do. <good. laughs> One. So one, two. Bicep's looking fit. It's good, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> two. Three. Go on, keep going. Four. Two. Five. Six. Seven. Seven and four, yeah? Two. Six. Three. Three. Good. Come on. <sighs> Two more. Two more. One more. Yes. So two. How are you getting on, bro? How are you feeling? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Take it easy, man. Let's go. Oh, rest of it. Good. I feel like I could have a, big, a better peak from a bicep, but like I've got the mass. Uh, better right. peak? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, my bicep's quite long, like I don't really have a, like, when yeah. I squeeze, it doesn't really like change in shape. Mm. You get some people, they'll flex. The bicep will just come out. Yeah. <laughs> That's my brother, mate. <laughs> so normally what I'll use, I'll, I'll do a lot of just very curl variations instead of more hammers, so I can get, bring up the peak a bit mm. more. Mm. Let's go. Done. Doing you doing now. Are you like, done now? That's like gone. <laughs> yeah. Should we call it there? Yeah, we can call it there yeah. if you want. Yeah. Mm. That'd be it. All right. We'll do some posing. Do an outro. Do some posing. Yeah. Sounds good. Are we doing that? Okay. So we're done with the back and bicep workout now. We're now gonna do a bit of posing. Lee's gonna like walk me yeah. through some of the shots. Yeah, posing is one of the hardest things in bodybuilding. One hundred percent. But practice, practice, practice. So I feel, I feel like it's literally people that do bodybuilding professionally, like obviously you as well, and some other people. Like, especially for the open, yeah. a lot of them will have just a day of just posing. They will, like, they'll spend hours and hours every single literally. day, literally what, focusing on, sometimes not even in the mirror, because on yeah. stage you obviously don't have that mirror to, to look at, so you need, you need to master it without having to look at yourself, so. And some posing, some posing rooms as well, they have like a mirror there, and then at the back. So you can see your back, so you can see back, back posing, yeah. Well. Literally all about how you position yourself, literally slight adjustments will, will, yeah. will literally like, completely change the look of, your, of, of how you look, so. Okay. Obviously you like um, classic, classic poses, don't you? I think that's how your structure, your shape of students. Stand up tall, stand up tall with your legs as well. It's fair. Now you open up a little bit more, that's it. Stand nice and tall. Yeah, flex your arms a bit, a bit more, I'll tilt them back a little bit more. Very good, yeah, yeah. Like the more you actually tilt back with your peak and arms and twist it up, your, your peak will show a lot more. Yeah, good, good, good. This is my favorite shot. Yeah, good. Keep it nice, keep your chest like nice and high as well. Keep it up with it. There we go. Good, good, good. good.
And what you want to do with this, keep your pull it back a little bit more, keep your chest nice, drive it down like that. There you go. Yeah. You can probably even bring that back a little bit more, your shoulder, there you go. Yeah. There we go, yeah. Keep your chest bit section tight and the face a little bit more like there you go. That's some of the classic poses. Mine, mine, mine are a little bit different than that. Yeah. <laughs> when men's physique, we, <laughs> when men's physique, we face the front and we turn and face the back. So we only have two poses. <laughs> good stuff, man. Like a good V taper. Good. good stuff. So that that's one of the most important things as well with um, posing. If you're if you've got if you're feeling a bit tight in certain areas, you're not going to be able to open up open up as much. That's why a lot of bodybuilders they do a lot of massage um, because if it's quite tight in one area and then it's looser in the other, it's going to start looking different. Like if you, see, if you look at my lats here, the left one's wider than the, the right, and all in, it might mean that all I need to do is just do some soft tissue mobilisation some deep tissue, deep tissue massage, and I'll open it up a little bit. Like, this looks okay, not as bad. That is the end of the video. I had a lot of fun with that one to be fair. I learned a couple of bodybuilding tricks here and there. I hope you guys got a lot out of that. If you did, leave a like down below, comment down below. Also, what you'd like to see me, um, what videos I'd like to see me do in the future. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. On to the next one.